it's your creator back at it again with another YouTube video and I know that I said in my last one that uh, today's video was going to be um, about the um, the Bed Wars video but I've, I've decided to, to keep that on hold for a little bit as I'm going to be doing some uh, other stuff as well some stuff so I just thought I'd make some uh, I'm making some quick and easy tutorials because I'm going to be busy right now so I'm just making quick tutorials just just to keep you you, you just to give you guys a, a content I know it's not the best but it's what you guys are gonna ha have to deal with I'm so sorry all right so let's get into what this good tutorial is about today this tutorial is how to make a DHCP server in VirtualBox now this is very good for a pen a testing lab so let's get into it. Let's get into how you can make a DHCP server. So first, you want to navigate to your uh, virtual box uh, directory. One is in the D drive. So how I believe you can. So how I believe. Okay, I forgot how you can access. How I forgot how to. I forgot how to switch um, good good drives in the CMD. I forgot how to switch drives. I'm trying to uh, remember my soundboard. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm in now. Um, CD virtual box. Uh, okay, so I should be in now. Alice. Okay. <laughs> this isn't the Linux terminal. Okay, so first of all, you want to type VBox manage. This is the. This is basically like the tool that that we're going to be using space dhcp server space add then you type the dash dash Net network and then equals and then this is where we're going to enter the name of the server that we're making so I'll just make it uh, test dhcp now we're going to get the server server dash ip we'll set that to i don't know 4.4.4.8.137.1 um i don't know um, there we go now we set our netmask it's going to be equal to Two five five dot dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. If you don't know what you're doing, just copy this. Um, now we let's set our IP addresses. So this is going to be the lowest IP ad address that can be assigned. So so lower IP equals, and let's say we'll set uh four dot eight dot one three seven dot one one ten. You just as an example. Then we go dash 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 upper for the highest IP address that can be assigned. Uh, dash IP, and then we'll make that four dot eight dot one three dot one three seven dot one twenty. Just as an example. Um, and then to enable the network, we do the dash dash enable. Now let's go over what I just did here. I'm just going to go into full screen to explain this here. So, with this, basically, what I've got done is I've set uh, basically, you can make this whatever you want, you can make this whatever you want, and you can make this whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what you do, uh, but I think it does matter as long as the first first three numbers are the same as the one that you hit on the server IP. I think that that's how it works. Honestly, I don't really know. But yeah, so what I did here was I set a range of IP addresses that will be assigned to the virtual machine. So let's do this. Let me click Ash Enable and it should do its thing. VBox Manage. What the hell? Wait a minute. Maybe. Wait a second. Oh no. Ah. Uh, Uh, sorry, I was I was in the wrong path, guys. I'm very sorry. 
I completely forgot that that was a part of my virtual box. Oh. But that'll do it now. And there we go. It is now done. The thing has been made. It is done. So now let's talk about how you can actually assign this to your virtual machine. If we go into here, let's say uh, we want to go into this one um, right here. Do is we go here, and then we go to um, network, and then uh, internal network. Then you type in the name of your network. So mine always test DHCP. And then there you go. It will now be assigned to that network as you can see right here. So that is how you assign a DHCP. Well, that, that is how you make a DHCP server and assign it to a virtual machine in VirtualBox. All right. So thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do give a like and a, and a thumbs up. Uh, there'll probably be more tutorials coming. Uh, this time, I'll be, I'll, I think the next tutorial that I want to do is a uh, Gometasploit, a thing with Meta Metasploit, where you can get into an SSH uh, port. So yeah, I, th I think I'm going to do that next. But thank you all for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it more there. Sub, sub, and sub, and turn the bell on, so you get notified. Notified, notified, whenever I upload. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.